Hi, everybody. I want to welcome you back to Ruben Amancy. I'm Linda, and I just want to say thank you for tuning in again to the channel and um, welcome you if you're new. And today we're going to do some of the and more because, you know, it's the ribbon reading and more. So we're going to do a little bit of and more. And of course, there'll be some ribbons in there too. But so for our and more today, because of the time of year that it is in our, our astrological um, situation right now up in the skies, we're going to talk about manifesting money because, you know, we got, we got to have that. That's important. So uh, with today being Saturday, April the 30th, uh, new moon, eclipse and this is also called a black moon because it's the second uh, new moon of this month of April 2022. So uh, also Beltane is coming and for those of you who like me or just kind of new to, to that, the Beltane is um, a festival of springtime and that's observed by Wicca people and pagans. And um, it's just centuries and centuries old. And this is the time when we get the maypole out and do that ritual dance around the maypole. And that's celebrating the beauty of springtime and, you know, getting ready to go into summer. But it is about fertility and spring. So um, that's uh, that's happening now too, Beltane. And so remember, I think an episode ago or so, we talked about the North Node that's in Taurus and the Sun in Taurus, making it perfect for our intention work and manifesting those things that we want to expand in our lives. And it can be any area that uh, that you want to really improve on or, or see more of. So this is a really good time for all of that. So um, when we're manifesting, we're setting our intentions, we're working with our thoughts, creating reality. So that's what the whole thing is about, is thought creating reality. And we're using visualization and positive affirmations and maybe some rituals to do that. So um, this is, like I said, the perfect time for that. And with manifesting money, we have to shift our thoughts and our vibrations off of debt and what we don't have or lack and into gratitude for all that we do have. So like, you know, yeah, I have bills to pay, but I have a roof over my head. I have food to eat. And, um, you know, it's a very, that's very important to be grateful to the universe for, you know, God, for what we have been given. And it makes me think of a song. Oh, no, it's not that one. The mind on my money and my money on my mind. It's not that one. It's the, it's another one that says it's not about having what you want. It's about wanting what you have. So that's kind of a shift of thought. So now, uh, in order to do this kind of intention and manifesting, we have to really just, it's about letting the universe know what it is that we want. So I was uh, kind of looking into different different methods of, of doing this, and I came across some really interesting things, and I thought, you know, it'd be a great day to share these things with you guys, and, you know, it's Saturday, so I can go play the lottery today, too, and see if, uh, <laughs> if it works, <laughs> or, you know, maybe it's not for me, I don't know, maybe the universe has other, other wealth or other prosperity in mind for me, but... Anyway, so we're putting that out there. I'm going to play the lottery, and I'm going to do all these little things and see uh, just see if, the, if it works for me. So, all right. So uh, this uh, one thing that I came across I thought was super interesting. It's called the grab a -voy code, grab a -voy. And it is a Russian mathematician who back in the early 2000s, um, developed these codes that, you know, he believed in the electromagnetic field of all things. And so he believed that numbers and vibrations and frequencies all work together. And so he broke these vibrations and frequencies into these sequences of numbers for specific things. So um, there's tons of these codes. I mean, like if you wanted cool, um, health or, you know, different things like that. So I just pulled out the ones for financial prosperity that we're going to talk about today. And so um, the first number that, that I wrote down here is 
it is a parity. So very important, all of these numbers in the sequence are all one, it's all one number, okay? So that's going to be 536, 389, 589. So that's the number for prosperity. The number for financial abundance right here. Now there's a split here. And so he believed that the pause was equally as important as the numbers because it gives that space in between. So financial abundance is 318, 789. Alrighty, 318, 789. And then we have unexpected money. Yay, that's really the best kind because it's totally a surprise. 520-7418. 520-7418. And then we have one more. It's the last one. And this is the immediate money code. So 426 Four nine nine. Four two six space four nine nine. Okay, so interesting. All right, so we go. All right, what, what do we do with these numbers now that we've got them? What are we supposed to do with that, right? So we are to activate them. So we would take, for example, the prosperity number, and we would just have like a brief. Um, meditation on this number where we clear our thoughts of, of, you know, just all the other stuff that's going on. Um, just think about this number, try to get that number in your mind, and then try to put it into an energy ball. Just, you know, start out with your hands and just make the little energy ball and put the numbers 536, 389, 589 into that little energy ball. And just, you know, as you're just thinking that, putting that number in there, and then put it right into your solar plexus chakra, which sits right below your, well, here, let me stand up. It's right in here, right in here. So it's above your belly button, and it's below your heart line. So right in there. So you would just put that number right into your solar plexus. And any of these numbers, you could do that with. And then throughout the day, you will want to, you know, remember this number, think about the number again, and um, that's how we activate it, and that's how you use it. Now, interestingly, I have found other ways to use them too as well, and that is with bay leaves. Okay, so bay leaves. I have a laurel tree out in my yard, so I went out and picked a couple of bay leaves, and these are not dry. However, you might be able to read the numbers. This one here is a bit better, I think. So, so then I put the dollar signs on there, and then I want you to write your name. You know, you probably have some bay leaves in your kitchen. Just go ahead and put the code, put some dollar signs on there. If there's an amount that you want, write your name so the universe knows who to send it to. And then we can take these leaves and we can burn them. But you want to be sure to be careful. They're kind of volatile. So, um, you know, there's a lot of oil in them. So you want to put them like in a tweezer or in a clip of some sort so that when you go to light them up, you know, they're, that you're not going to burn your fingers. And of course, use a plate or something underneath them so that um, your house doesn't catch on fire because claiming um, insurance for your house burning down is not the kind of financial abundance that I want to see you get. So don't do it. Be very careful. Okay, so that is um, a, a tip to use with those numbers. Or you can, you know, if you don't want to burn it, you can just stick it under your pillow. You can put it in your wallet or um, you can put it with some crystals. Okay, all right. So that's, um, that's the grab of way numbers. And um, so on the leaves, put them in your wallet. Okay, and then the bay leaves, so we're going to talk some more about the bay leaves. So bay leaves can be used um, without anything on them. So this is just a plain one that's just off of my tree outside. And you can um, use them for prosperity as well. And you can write down things on them or you can just leave them 
plain and just light them like you would any other kind of um, intention setting or um, just use them for alone for money because they're very powerful, very potent as well. Another one, let's see, where did it go? Oh gosh, you'd think I wouldn't be able to lose this because it's just super huge. So the other thing that you can use is cinnamon. So cinnamon is the bark off of a tree. But this is a real powerful money drawer, I have learned. So we want to um, use this and you can crunch it or if you can get chips or you can even just use the kind like this one that's out of your kitchen and it's a little powder. So what you'll want to do with that is, look, I'm going to show off now. I'm going to be like, look, I'm rolling hard over here, right? Oh, Benjamin. Benjamin, yay! Well, I figured I would rather use a Benjamin than anything else because if I'm going to call it in, I'm calling it big. I want it to come big. I don't want it to come like one or two. Or, oh, look, I found a dime in the driveway or something. And then what I will do with this this uh, Benjamin is I'm going to use what this is the Money Drawing Crystal Spray from the Enchanted Cottage, which is an online shop. They ship to anywhere, so uh, it's a really good, and it's got herbs, and it has crystals. You can see them down there in the bottom, so it's got everything in it that you need to, you know, set the intentions, and listen, I, when I'm going to go, when I'm going to work, I'm like, mm, 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 mm. yes, yes, I'm making some money, so I'm going to use this, uh, and I don't know how much these are, but it's not very much. It's probably about 15 bucks. And it's like done with the new moon and it's very correctly put together. So very ethical. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I will take my Benjamin and I could even write these codes onto the money if I wanted to or not. And I'm going to spray. I'm going to, let me just kind of get it. There we go. So I'm just going to wet that a little bit with my money drawing spray because I want you to get more money so now I'm going to take a little bit of the cinnamon and just sprinkle it onto the bill okay so you have to be careful with that because it can get kind of messy right so so here's what it's kind of looking like there's a little powder and then you take your finger through that powder and draw a line towards yourself so I'm draw a line towards myself in that powder. And now I'm going to fold that veil in half towards me. And in half again towards me. Now it's like a little cinnamon burrito. <laughs> and then I'll turn it around the other way. And I'm going to fold it in half again towards me. So now I'm down to this. And then I will fold it again towards me. Because we want all that magical goodness coming towards us right so now I've got it down here like this and you can put you know even if it's one dollar or five dollars and stick it in your wallet and uh or you know ladies you could go in there or we can just stick it in our pocket and just let it sit in there draw some you know maybe we'll have babies right <laughs> all right so that's the cinnamon <laughs> And then uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is, um, so we have also a lot of other things that we can get at the store too. Uh, this one I got at the grocery store and this is a, a good luck, good luck. And it's got all kinds of little goodness, uh, you know, so this is supposed to be a candle charged up for um, money and good luck. Okay. So we have that, and we have green candle, because green, that's all about money and prosperity. You can see that's been burned a couple of times, right? So we use that. All right, we got our crystal spray, and where are we at here? Oh, okay, so also with the bay leaves, when you write on them your intention, you can put them in your singing bowl, and you can just let that, you know, get your singing bowl going so that it charges up like your whole house with that vibration of that um, abundance and prosperity. So that's a good thing. 
So if you don't want to burn them, you could put them in the same bowl and then burn them or not burn them or however it works for you is best. Then that's how you do. But just if you're going to burn them, just be careful. Okay. And um, then another thing that I found was I'm sure that we're all familiar with Nikola Tesla. Right. He's this guy they named the car after because he was like a an electronic um, genius and he also was into numbers and electromagnetic frequencies and he believed that numbers had meaning so he was very into numerology so he believed that the number three connected us connects you to source you know God or higher power and the universe the divine and number six would connect us to our inner strength and the number nine is letting go of what no longer serves you. So the numbers three, six, nine are the divine numbers per Nikola Tesla that are about manifesting for us. So suggesting that this could be written down in the morning three times, three, six, nine, and your affirmation. Um, the affirmation could be anything like, um, I'd like to have enough money to pay all my bills, or I'd like to live comfortably, or I'd um, like to take this trip, or, you know, whatever the affirmation is that you have, just write it three times with the numbers three, six, nine in the morning, and then again in the middle of the day sometime, three, six, nine, affirmation six times, and then at the end of the day, three, six, nine, and affirmation nine times. Now, that takes a certain level of dedication, and you have to remember to do it. So um, that might not be one that, that I can practice because it would be a little bit too uh, too ruly for me. But three, six, nine, for those of you who could do it and are you know would like to do those affirmations, that really will help build um, that positive thinking three times a day, that might be the ticket for you. So that's a, that's a good one. So the crystals, of course, you guys know now that I really love the crystals. And so crystals for abundance, that's another thing. So there are several, and I think, you know, I think I've showed you guys this little pyrite flower before. Yeah, so that's that pyrite flower. So pyrite's all about abundance, yes. And here is the flowers, um, for your growing sister and she's just as twinkly and bright and she's got lots of little cube shaped crystals just all over her isn't she just lovely she's really pretty so so what you can do with these and if you want to use the code yeah i mean yeah i can't hurt right so i'm gonna go ahead and take the code for immediate money and I'll put it on on that crystal. Okay, so it's just you can use a rubber band if you want to wrap it to it, or you know, however you want to place it under it, maybe because it'll stay better. Just set it on top and just set them down there so that they can uh, start working with that for you. And you know, likewise for the other pyrite. And then there are other crystals that we can use for abundance. A really beautiful one is citrine citrine so this is a little chunk of raw citrine and it's just like a light yellow citrine so we want to take for example the number for prosperity and just um, wrap citrine in that for the prosperity and then put that on your altar if you Sure, a special place in your house. It doesn't have to be an altar. It can just be on the table. It can be any place where you see it that you know you're going to think about it often and and um, and use it. Okay, this is a little carved uh, tiger, but it's an aventurine. So um, that is aventurine. Aventurine is real good for by using for your financial for money drawing. So we've got the pyrite, the citrine, aventurine, yes. We've got a malachite. Malachite, you know, anything that's green is gonna be good to help draw the money in. So emeralds, amazonite, 
um, yellow sapphires, oh, which I, ha I have one here, but now, you know, don't be too impressed. This is not uh, the jewel quality uh, yellow sapphire, but this is nonetheless what's called a barrel, and it's a, uh, it's from Africa, so this is a yellow barrel sapphire, so no, it's not like those uh, ones that they cut and make jewelry out of, so, um, so that's another one. So we take the financial abundance and wrap that one up in there. And the unexpected money. I'm going to put the little tiger in the unexpected money. The little lion or puma or whatever that little guy is. So also jade. Of course we know that's an excellent one. Now this one came from the beach. My friend Emily brought me this one from the uh, central coast here in California. There's beaches that have a lot of jade and it's not that imperial jade that they would carve bowls out of or anything but that's jade. So I like that and then I have one more piece of jade here and that this is an African uh, an African jade and it's carved into an elephant. Trunk up is always good luck, right? So that's that's a good thing. So I like that. So elephant with this trunk up. So those are your crystals for abundance. You can place them throughout your home. And from what I understand, the feng shui thing is to put them in a southwest corner of the house. Um, you can put one in your purse and carry it with you, and you can put one under your pillow. However, I don't think I'm putting this one under my pillow. I might have a headache when I wake up in the morning, right? So. I need to do that. Okay, so the final thing is, so we've talked about all of the little herbs and the crystals and stuff. And so I just wanted to show you guys a couple of ribbons that I have that are, uh, that I use for abundance in my readings. So when they come up, I'm like, oh, this is really good. So look at this. This one is lucky. It's got the little, like St. Patrick's and their little gnomes. It's got the horseshoe and the clover. And it's green. So that's good. That's good luck. And of course, you guys will love this too. That's the uh, Benjamins. I like Benjamin. So there you go. That's, it's, that's lucky. When that comes out in a reading, I'm like, woohoo, that's good news. And I want to thank you guys for joining me again today. I want you to have a really uh, safe time if you decide to burn any leaves or do any burning. Just be careful. And to have a, a very good eclipse and new moon and Beltane if you celebrate Beltane. And I want to just say, you know, let's manifest us some money. And we can say bon voyage to lack. Okay. All right, you guys. Have a good uh, May. Well, we'll see you again. But yeah, thanks for closing out April with me. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.